hello everybody welcome back to my channel jp kasi tech so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe first of all let's go to the xml file let's go to layout and then open this xml file let's design the object here so first i'm gonna create the text view height and weight i'm gonna give wrap content i need the id for the text view next i'm gonna give the text size so it will look little bigger now next i need one button height and width i'm gonna give wrap content let me give the text for the button i'm gonna say add text now i need id for the button i'm gonna call it button add now next and let increase the text size of the button it will be a little bigger 30 sp so you can see this is text view and this is the button now let me bring it little far so i'm gonna say margin top i'm gonna give 30 dp now everything look good now let's go to the java class and define the variable first of all let's define the variable for the text view and the button go here I'm going to start with the private text view and I'm going to call the short name as a TV. Close it. Now I need one more for the button. So I'm going to call this is as a button, but I'm going to call it with the short name, which is the button underscore end. Okay. Now close it. Now let's initialize this button in the text view and on create method. Copy this one. This here. Okay. Now equal find view by ID. So R dot id dot and the id of the text view was tv right now just close this one and then for the button you do the same copy this one and then press here okay now i'm gonna say equal find view by id so r dot id dot and id of the button is button add right now just close this now set the click listener for the button so just copy this variable and then press here now i'm gonna call dot set on click listener okay now inside the parameter here we will give new view dot on click listener can you see this one okay click there now outside of this parameter i'm gonna give the open and close curly bracket now bring the cursor here press alt enter now implement the method and then click okay okay now Whenever the user will click this button, then this text view will be set text with the new text. Okay. Now let's do that. Let's copy this text view and then press here. So I'm gonna set the text. Dot set text. Okay. So inside the double quotation, I'm gonna call this subscribe. Okay. Now let's run the project. Okay guys, the apps has launched successfully. Now let's set the text. Add text. Can you see there is a text called please subscribe? Okay, so let's change the orientation. Landscape mode. Can you see guys the text is disappear? So how we will save this text? Okay, let's go to the normal. No more text. Let's go to the coding again. Now simply go here and call a method on save instant state bundle. Okay. I'll go here and then extract your text from the text view and put it into the bundle okay just simply copy this and then paste here okay now I'm gonna put a string so I'm gonna call string right now here we have to create the string name so I'm gonna call it jptex outside you give comma you can use any after comma you have to extract the text from the text view so simply give the variable of the text view copy this one and then paste here now i'm gonna extract it dot get text dot to string okay now this is done here now whenever the activity will be destroyed this method will be called and then your value from the text view will be saved to the bundle now we will retrieve this one whenever the apps restart again so just go over here 
and column method on restore instance state bundle okay so this one now just go here and then get the text from the bundle set it back to the text view okay so i'm gonna use simply the variable of the text view copy and then paste here now i'm gonna say dot set text okay so the text will be coming from the bundle so simply copy this and then paste here inside the parameter and then call a method dot get string dot string okay and remember the string that i put here was jp tech so call this one here okay so simply copy this one and then paste here with the double quotation done everything now what it does whenever the activity is destroyed this method will be called and the value from the text view will be saved into the bundle now whenever the app will be restart the value that was saved in the bundle will be extracted and it will set back to the text view with the help of get string and then set it back to the text view okay so let's run the project and see okay guys the apps has launched successfully now let's see what happened whenever the orientation is changed okay so now first let add the text text is added now let's change the orientation can you see guys the text is remain now let's change back and you see guys the text is still remaining so only this guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe my channel